It's Pro Fest 2017. Can I get some noise? I gotta get a lot of that. Can y'all get a lot of that? It's 2017. Pro Fest. Can I get some noise? And just like that, Coat Fest 2017. We could be the life of the party if you want to Or you can stay right here by yourself And I just go find me someone else But it's a party, baby And I came to dance, dance, dance. Move some, move some Like you trying to pull some You better dance But you down, down, down dedication i'm that type of person like you show me that you want it i and, and you want me to be with you with it i'm gonna meet you the same amount that you go you know what i'm saying and we gonna fucking pedal it out we gonna work it out we gonna get it many nights i always tell him to get some sleep go to bed make sure you eat a good healthy balanced diet and all those things went down the drain when it came to planning for cult fest so now uh, i'm gonna get a middle school too so basically for entry, you're not paying anything, you just bring school supplies. Because the school supplies are going to be a donation. And the reason why I wanted to do this event 
was not only to help the kids before they start going to school, but also so Colt can start his philanthropy type thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And even if I can't give you anything like with money, don't give me something to walk to everybody. Um, I think from the inception of the idea of what Colt Fest was until the lights turned off at LaValle Park, I don't think I had seen somebody work um, that hard and that diligent, diligently, especially in our age group. Um, and so I think that's something um, I gravitate towards that because uh, I respect that hustle. They come with that fire though. So they, they can't better, they better. <laughs> they have no other choice. Uh, they come with that heat so. every time. A few people would call me crazy, to be honest. Did I ever think it was crazy in the process of Cold Fest? I would have to say no. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. They be like, boy, you so crazy. I'm out of my mind. I agree. Truck it up to the front. <laughs> but at the same time, I would think, is he thinking I'm crazy? <laughs> but I feel like that's a good thing. That comes with dealing with Calvin. <laughs> If you think Calvin is sane or rational, then you don't know Calvin. I do until uh, I get the explanation of the crazy. But yeah, yeah, because we all fear what we don't know. So yeah, as soon as I know exactly where it's coming from, then yeah, I, I get it. I, I don't, me personally, knowing who Calvin is, having known him for the last four years, uh, I don't because uh, I kind of, I see what he's trying to do. Some people, some people might look at you and think that your grind is crazy, but that's just because they're not grinding hard enough. You gotta have a crazy work ethic in order to to do the things that I do, right? And I don't expect for a lot of people to have that kind of work ethic because most people are too lazy. Most people are gonna be like, oh, this won't work out, that won't work out. No, hell no. Work hard, do what you want, get what you want, live the way you want. If you want to live the way you want, you got to work hard for it. You can't just expect for everything to be handed to you. I'm around Calvin a lot. Uh, probably more so than a lot of people. Hard work don't look crazy if somebody's not working hard. He didn't surprise me though, honestly. Uh, nah, you just, just thought you know, it was just creativity. Creativity. Following your dreams, bro. Like, you just chasing food. Like, you you just, just not walk it, bro. We've been friends for a little while, so I already know like his thought process and like how everything's going to do. And... That's just how Calvin, that's just how he is. You ain't gonna like you wanted me. You ain't gonna like you wanted me. You ain't gonna like you wanted me. So like this is my way of being able to give back to the community. We give back to the community without having to charge anybody to come to the community. Right. And then still being able to give back to like the elementary and middle school around the area. Did you grow up here? No, I grew up in Zebulon, North Carolina. Oh yeah, yeah. You know where Zebulon is? Oh, sure. Cold Fest 2017's first one ever. So, gotta make it a hit. If you hang out with people who just exert positivity all the time, it's like it's gonna be contagious, you know what I'm saying? This is where I'll be beaten down Underneath this dust and bones Here's a, uh... Oh, you know Tyler? Yeah, yeah. I, we actually supposed yeah, to meet this week. What? That's crazy. He said he was in um, LA. Do this. Do this. Why? Wow. Alright, I got you. You got to. <laughs> Hit him Please with the... Please don't forget. I got you. I got you. Hey. Yeah. And then, um... 
We're gonna have two DJs. We have DJ K Dot, DJ Supreme the Great. The host is gonna be Nick. Remember okay. that from the Apple yeah, Store, and then I need to get um, good. Yeah, yeah, and then Sarah Davis. She uh, works at K Nine Seven. I'm on a mission, y'all. Got to change the culture of North Carolina, entertainment, music, all that. Right. So if not us, then who? Pretty much. Because I want more entrepreneurs, black, brown, Latino, you know what I'm saying, to come out of the woodworks. Like there's so many people and creatives in North Carolina that can come together and build something, but we have to have better work ethic. We have to have better business structure. Or well, not just Greensboro, like North Carolina period, mm -hmm. work together in order for us to really do what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Because otherwise it's going to be, I told you that crab in the bucket mentality. It really is, bro. People just got to open their minds. Oh man, oh man, oh man, is this what you wanted? I got the game in, both hands, oh cam, and I just might crush it. Take this shit to a new level. No sympathy if you settle. I'm so Carolina, but you can't coach K run plays like a blue devil. ACC me for the email, keep keys on the E for the retail. We drink OE, three L's, speed through turnkey, meet up with a female. Keep going, pedal to the metal, can't stop it. Phone rings in my pocket, either my bitch or my profit. See blue lights roll. And I don't know where I will go Waiting on this road Even if I lose control I'll make it home I don't know what I've been told God only knows If I die before I'm old Take my soul My vision is empty 2020 Young kid with a 40 Chilling with the old heads All that got is a cold 45 and 40 yeah, I got a, okay. I want to see if I can get a postage in the EUC. Not if it doesn't have USC on it. That's a USC. Wow. What is that? It's got to be a USC event. Oh. Yeah, it's a USC mm. People got to start, stop that hate and shit, man. Just come together. Yeah, that's it. It's some little stuff, bro. Like, like stuff like what we're doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Little things. Gotta do like that, bro. We gotta, we gotta keep, continue to create the change we all see. Instead of waiting for somebody else to do it, we gotta wait around forever. Cause that's, I, I doubt that's gonna happen based off of the people that I'm trying to bring in, but also the network that I'm trying to bring in. Cause the reason why I said bands so quick, and I said cause bands draws in like, at Monsters, we have 30 and 40 something year olds or even 50s beautiful house of blues that just want to come for the hell of it. I told him from the beginning when he when I first heard about Cold Fest, I was like, you need to you need to blast this all over. So I have to applaud the guys that were around me. OGB, uh, Andre, Nick. We did something that was different than any, anybody else that has ever done like promotion and marketing. So the Love and Basketball skit, our rendition of it was very successful. People have already liked, shared all that within like 45 minutes. So definitely dope. Like Calvin took the time out to get a whole actress to, to get the, the I mean, we thought about it. We gotta get the knee brace. We gotta get the ball. We gotta get. We gotta get good light for the court. Where? What court are we gonna use? You know what I'm saying? Whose house? Who have a house with a backyard with a, with a court in? It? You know what I'm saying? Like, but we we had to just we had to just look at what we had. And we was just like, this is how we're gonna do it. Yo, you got a ticket? Waiting for it. All right, check out. Where to be at? Oh, you think taking off the bridge gonna make you play better? I want to kiss you. Does she want you with the pain that I do? Smell you in my pain. Now, when we're face to face. Save them 
Hey! Double or nothing? People really like that one. I got a few text messages today, a few DMs like, yo, you're killing me with these skits, man. Keep them going. So, just so y'all know, shout out to OGB. He's the one, he was like, yo, all you gotta do is start pushing this shit. So I was like, true, let's do it. Start making videos. The rest is history. Um, the first skit we did was Get Out. And I didn't expect for it to, to have the, the feedback it got. Cause at the time I just kind of was like, hey, I'm just gonna put a, put a put a little funny video out there to get people's attention and see where it goes. Immediately, we, we did we did get out and from there we had hit the ground running. What was the first video we did though? Uh, the first video was, that what was the first video we did? Um, the get out. Oh yeah, get out challenge to uh, Migos. It's lit now. We're on a roll from the jump, bro. The first one was Get Out. The second one was Migos, you know what I'm saying? Started with the Bad and Bougie one uh, back at like July 30th to the 31st. Let's give a round of applause for Calvin putting this whole thing together, guys. This whole thing, I know if y'all follow him on Instagram, his promo game is unlike anyone else's. He literally put out like 25 videos. I was like, I respect that, this was up. Bro, I got this. I know my car. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. I got, I, bro. I got this. Trust me. We gonna get the coat fist. I know my car, bro. I know my car. I'm telling you though, you do not have gas. The thing done ding ding about three times. No gas. All right. Let me get some gas. Pump three. Pump three. Uh, pump three. All right. Yeah, that's pump three. Okay. All right. Um. Maybe I get a snack while I'm in here. Uh, pump, pump three. I always forget, man. Let me just go in and get this gas real quick. Uh, what pump are you in? Pump. Oh, pump five. Pump five. Pump three. Pump two. Pump eight. Pump thirteen. Pump eighteen. Wait. Are there eighteen pumps? Wait. Did I unplug my iron? I thought I came in for a snack. What pump is it again? Left off bad and bougie, like me and Calvin did the most to get this shit popping, and I mean, that shit worked, bro. So, you know, there's like a running joke, like that you got left off a co fest. Do I got left off a co fest? Huh? I ain't gonna left off a co fest. What? What? I ain't gonna left off a co fest. Oh, yeah, like co fest. I ain't gonna left off a co fest. Nah! You need to write this up. Shit. Wrap it up, man. Well, you guys have been nominated for. Uh... Shit. What's going on? What's up? Wrap it up, man. Putting flyers out. I seen the flyers with JPJ on the door. I was like, damn. Coat fest. <laughs> uh, well, shout out to Cal. Um, you know the promo. But again, the whole idea of Coat Fest and what it turned into was out of his his brainchild. But the promo videos definitely. Um, but th that process would really be every day. 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 Every single day. And I would sometimes it would get a little late, and I'd be like, "Okay, Calvin, <laughs> what you doing tonight?" He's like, oh, "I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So I'll be out in 30 minutes." And sure enough, there was going to be a brand new video. For homicide detectives, the clock starts ticking the moment they are called. Wow. Greensboro, wow. North Carolina. Wow. Wow. Dispatch, we got a 187 in progress. Son 187 in progress. What is a 187? I didn't read the book. Someone stole another Colt Fest ticket. Why would you steal a Colt Fest ticket? 
We got, so this is all we got. We got a missing Coke Fest ticket and a Wolfie Summer hat. Detective Bunk Williams has been with the LaBar Park Police Department for the last 18 months. He hasn't had a haircut in seven weeks. Second one this week. Really? Every time, man. Every son of a Detective Tyrone Sanchez has been with the LaBar Park Police Department for the last three weeks. He is currently serving a seven-month probation. I think I know who it could be. 24-year-old Nicholas Hensley, who was last seen at his alleged girlfriend, Tara Reese's house. Why would you steal a Coke Fest ticket? They're free. It was just like, um, like the Friday skit, for example. You know what I'm saying? Um, really came out of nowhere. It really was like a last-minute thing. It was Friday, and I mean, of course, everybody loves that movie. It's a, it's a hit. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be a hit. Um, so we was just like, what part can we capture? Though? What is the part that we need? You know what I'm saying? And uh, I mean, we just talked about it, and I was just like, bro, that that part with Devo got bread for uh, for the bike and everything. Like it was pretty hilarious. So we just thought about it, and we just looked at that scene, and we looked at what we had, and we made sure to shape. Give me my Coke Fest ticket. You what? I'll talk to you for a second. Oh, shit. Hey, man. Pops trip. Want me to ask for my Coke Fest ticket, man? What ticket? The one you just told me about. The one on the 26th. The ticket that I got for you last week. Oh, I got that ticket right over here. Come on, man. It's my Coke Fest ticket, fool! Damn! Oh, damn! You got knocked the snap! Oh, you want some of this too, old man? No. Get your... But pretty much taking about 10 to 15 minutes. Literally, 10 to 15 minutes. The time frame of a promo video would be shooting it within... I'll, the longest, maybe an hour, if that. So that was the easy part. Coming up with stuff to do was the hard part. Like, some one of my, my little brother asked me, you know, how long did it take y'all to shoot the Billy Bounce skit? 10 minutes on an iPhone 7? <laughs> um, <laughs> to be honest, it took us 10 minutes. It's really thinking of stuff to do. Going out, shooting something, and we just knew it would work. I don't know how, it was just like, Okay, we, we, we edit it, we record it, and we push it, and people loved them. I want to coke fest. Bro, you already know. Hey, Cal, you dropped your ticket. Hey, bro, I need my ticket back. Track, though. Well, no. Woo! Yeah. Said, little bitch, did you get your ticket? Boy, you know it's free. It's exclusive. This is the first, and we gon' do this annually. Hit the link. Takes two minutes, and you know you get it free. They gon' quit, so take off, and don't get comfortable. Bring them school supplies, and you'll get it free. Said, bring them school supplies, and you'll get it free. If I see you without a ticket, you gon' have some prize with me. So bring those and donations to support the community. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
but generally speaking, shooting the video within 30 to 40 minutes, having it, the turnaround time to edit another 20 to 30 minutes and having it posted in within the next two hours of us originally going in and shooting the video. So maybe in that process, you may get a little like antsy of, you know, Calvin being crazy, but that's not, you know, that's just one to get shit done. He like, he goofy as fuck. <laughs> It'll take about two or three, maybe four times. Well, it just took us time because Calvin's a horrible actor. Um, <laughs> I'm a better actor than anybody who is a part of these skits. I'm gonna just let you know that right now. What did you do? I did everything. Like what? I did everything. I gave other girls tickets. Yeah, so I met her at a party and she didn't really like me. Yeah, I really didn't like you. At the grocery store and I was working on a few things and... And you offered to give me a cult bus ticket. Tickets to other girls. And when I walked into your room, you were giving out a cult bus ticket. And you told me to leave. How many cult bus tickets did you give away? I mean, I really don't know. I wasn't keeping count. Just like with the boys in the hood. When, when Ricky got shot, it took Calvin about goddamn five times, six times to get shot. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, Calvin, just fucking get shot in the back and fall, bro. Damn. I mean, the jump that he did. Turn. Shot. 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 Uh, oh my. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Was terrible, bro. 30 times, bro. <laughs> Hands the fuck down. Terrible. Every time. I was like, Calvin. Fucking fall. Man, what's cool? Hey. I think we should split up. Man, I don't think that's a good idea, man. Come on, man. Them fools ain't talking about nothing. They just want a coat fest ticket. All right, man. Ricky! I have any ID, Mr. Burnett. She not, I'm hunting your mother ass down. Oh, Reggie, baby, I am so sorry. He's Megan's dad and his silly friend. <clears throat> the blue shirt is nice. Y'all have a good time at Colt Fest. Better have your school supplies, Colt Fest. But nah, there were, the lottery ticket was fun. Um, it, was, it was fun reenacting that a scene that made me laugh so much growing up over whatever lottery, lottery ticket came out like five years ago, whatever. But it was fun reenacting that scene. Um, remembering lines, channel my inner Brandon T. Jackson. Hey, Cal. Hey, I don't see Lorenzo and his boys, man. I think you're good. You really think we safe? Yeah. 
You really think we safe? Man, all we gotta do is make it to the next day and a half. And we good, man. Is this what having a Coke Fest ticket feel like? People I ain't heard from for years calling me, texting me, asking me how to get in. I got an idea. Let me hold on to it. Hold on to what? Coke Fest ticket, man. You too? Man, Cal ain't even like that, man. It is like that. It ain't like that, it man. It is like that. It ain't like that. It is like that. Man, Cal, look at our circumstances, man. Look where we came from, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of worrying about quick cars. I'm tired of worrying about the government. I'm broke. I'm broke. And you got the power to change that, Cal. Buy the Coke Fest ticket. Not only would I go, but I would get back. Get your ticket. What was more fun about those two skits, those two um, boys in the hood, uh, the Billy Bounce thing, I think those were like the main four that I was really in, uh, was just reenacting things that made, that, that touched me and made me laugh and entertained me so much growing up, whether it was watching Bad Boys 2 or uh, watching the Billy Bounce video 20 times on Twitter or um, you know, watching Lottery Ticket with my parents whenever it came out. So it was just fun reenacting things that made me laugh so long ago and using that to reach out to other people about something that's important to me. So it was just, it was just cool seeing all that stuff come full circle. Andre is better than Dre, OGB, Tara, whoever else, like, I was the best. And the reason why I know I was the best is because there's some skits that I did, that I, I kept in the bag. That I kept in the bag and they weren't even, you know what I'm saying? They weren't even pulled out. I, I, I was working on a training day skit and it, and it kinda, you know, it was, a, uh, uh, it was a little bit off, but you know. Come back here! Jake! Confess ain't got on me! Yeah, that's right, you better walk away. Go on with me. You wanna know what's more important than throwing away money at a strip club? Confess. Um, at this point, uh, I, I think with what I was doing, the way I was creating the videos with the same cohort of people, like it was literally four of us that were in each video. Right? Um, it was either me and OGB or me and Andre, me and Nick, or something like that. I think what I want to do next year is I do want to incorporate more of the artists that I end up getting to perform in the skits. I think that would be pretty cool. You can get some kind of connection with them, like, and I can tag them, things like that. Um, but if you want to be a part of a skit, honestly, just text me, DM me. Like, I would love to help because. See, what most people don't understand is about the Copefest skits was, they were like, oh man, these are so funny. Like, I can't believe you, you got the time and energy to do this. And it was like, I had no other choice. Like, I didn't have anybody else who could put in the amount of work that I was gonna do with the skits and they were gonna do it the right way. So I had to keep the people that was around me doing it the right way and we just had to keep going. Like, literally there would be times where it got down to the wire and I'm like, Okay, I'm either gonna have to do the skit by myself or I'm gonna do it at all. And I said, well, let me do one by myself. Um, and, and that's where MLK came up. I had a dream that one day Raleigh, North Carolina, and Charlotte, North Carolina could come together in Greensboro, North Carolina for one of the greatest events of all time. As said Kanye, as said Barack, uh, even Michelle has said something like that. And I had a dream. That one day we could bring a DJ K Dot and a DJ Supreme to go to DJ at the same time! Oh my god, oh my god. And I have a dream that one day.
if we can bring Sarah Davis and DJ Nick Tune together to host the best event in 2017. And I'm going to tell you good people, on this day, August 26th, at Coke Fest, tickets will be free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, they will be free at last. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to come scoop you now. Hey, from the, more, <laughs> the moment that I opened my eyes and prayed, call Calvin, day started. You know what I'm saying? I was really excited. So I'm not a morning person, but I was up early and I was excited and I was like, it's finally here. Like, we've been counting down the days to Colt Fest and it was finally here. I think I told all my volunteers to go up there. I'll be going to go up But yeah, I'm on my way to come get you now. Um, and we can get stuff rolling. Like I said, we can't touch the park till 2.30, but we can go through all the walks through stuff and we can like educate everybody on what's going on and how the event's gonna be going. All right, I'll be there in about 10 minutes. It's Coke Fest, baby. It's today, a few hours. We still got some time. It's 11.57 right now. I'm meeting with the volunteers at 12.30. Somebody go pick up the event coordinator, Wolf. And get stuff rolling. Got my boy OGB on the camera. Guys Eye Production. Shout out. There was a lot of people that were at Colt Fest and the, and the vibrations that were at Colt Fest was love. You know what I'm saying? My name is uh, Steph Jordan. I'm with Lake Curfew Closing. Here's my card. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the Roulette Pop Up Shop. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Kyla, creator and owner of Highs Candles. My name is Case. Uh, this is my business, Case. I'm 11 years old, and my brand is pretty much encouraging you to. This is Hotep Empire. We are a brand where we invest in clothes, paintings, photography. We just have everything that you can ever ask for. Kayla T actually came mad late. Like, so I had an artist, Scoozy, who was supposed to perform. He couldn't because he had some obligations in Virginia or whatever. So I was like, okay, I understand that. I think two weeks, maybe, before Coke Fest, uh, Wolf, which is the event coordinator that we had, he hit me up. He said, Calvin, I got you a feeling. I'm like, mm, it's really late, Wolf. We've already been promoting. We have this flyer with the, the, the artist locked in. At this point, if we do it, it's going to be kind of like a, you know, he says, Calvin, I'm going to send you the single, send you her number. If you like it, you know, whatever. I listened to her singer, single um, on iTunes, and it was phenomenal. Like, Kayla T, you got to check her out. And her performance at Coke Fest was mind blowing. Like it, it gave you chills. It was, it was so unique. She she played the guitar. She sang so beautifully. And I don't think I could have picked a better person to to perform. Um, and I could say the same with any of my artists like that that performed. <laughs>
the first annual Cult Fest ever. This is so awesome, and I feel so honored to be asked to come sing and be a part of it. And so, so I want to thank Calvin and everybody, Wolf, for getting me this gig. This is really cool. Um, and UNC, I mean, sorry, Greensboro. I'm lit to be here because I went to UNCG. So, that's what's up. Once again, my mom E instincts took over, and I went to the store and grabbed food for everyone, grabbed waters, grabbed granola bars, whatever, um, and then I think I called Calvin at least 20 times on the way there to make sure he, needed, he didn't need anything else. But then whenever we showed up to Labour Park, it was, it wouldn't even set up at all, but it already felt like Colt Fest was there, and it was really cool. Amanda, say something. Hey, awesome. He doesn't care about your money. He cares about seeing enjoyment on somebody's face. He cares about seeing happiness and, 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 and people actually, like it bothered him that day, the day of Coke Fest to see people come to Coke Fest who were vendors and didn't take two seconds to go talk to another vendor or two seconds to go to, to, pro, to promote them damn selves. Like, bruh, I gave every soul a business card that day, if I could, you know what I'm saying? I was doing so much, but I mean, I took every opportunity I could. And it's just like, that's what Coke Fest was really about. Like, giving back to the community, helping out these kids, but also coming together here in Greensboro, North Carolina, and, and actually bringing these black businesses together and actually supporting each other. Also to the man himself who put this all together, this would not exist if it wasn't for this man right here. Boy, you still ugly, but we love you, bro. Calvin Phillips, everybody give a round of applause to Calvin Phillips, man. Ten years from now, I would be able to say that I created the, the market that Greensboro needed or North Carolina needed in order to change the game. Believe me, I know that this is my mind is sure. Somebody let them know they ran out of time Cause the boy's in his prime this year Mine is sure, mine is sure Oh yeah, yeah, man, the time is near Tell them be prepared cause the time is here Gotta let them know that it's mine this year Yeah, it's time this year I just wanna knock them off the Atlas Ain't even giving them a last word and now you have Coke Fest. And I think that with Coke Fest, it's going to be a household name soon. Um, you give me about two more years, uh, Coke Fest will be one of the, if not the biggest event in North Carolina. Um, and I know that for a fact. Uh, I was able to do, and not just me, my team, we were able to do something within a month and a half uh, that most people would take a year to get together. Um, and I think that shows like, hey, Calvin, you did this in a month and a half. I can just imagine what you do in the entire year. Man, I, like, I'm, I'm just really proud of like what I'm seeing right now. You know, this, this black entrepreneur, black, you know, black excellence, black everything, black opulence, decadence, all of that. Um, and just, it, it was, I mean, we had people moms out there. <laughs> like, we had people moms out there, we had people pops out there, so. Uh, the overall thing at Cult Fest, man, was just, it, it was just black excellence. And I'm, I'm happy I was a part of it. See the Tar Heels, how we talking bar still? Full of fakes, get you all killed. Even if you are real, my brother got a shot, he make you cartwheel. Uh, I'm not street kid, but I keep clips. I ain't got a sweet shit. Move! <laughs> 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 action. Slow it down for the fast cash. I was right in the Yo, oh my god, yo. Alright, bro, so I got. I got three ring binders. I got two number two pencils. I got fucking. Never mind. Hey, yo, Cap. I know it's Cap. 
champ. Action. All we gotta do is make it to the next day and a half. We get it. And then what? And you get your money. Is this how I really feel? People I don't even know calling me, texting me, asking me for my ticket. Co-Fest ticket. You too? You too? Really? Say, just say, say her. Y'all yeah, was my like favorite group, and you know I really like respect y'all. Da 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 da. Yeah, we gotta close it up. We gotta close it up. Go ahead and close it up. Wrap it up then. <laughs> say wrap it up then. Nah, I'm <laughs> running the cool. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> and when I say turn back, turn back, turn back. Eyes. Ricky. Where you want to say it? Hey, man, let's go. Hey, I just got to pitch it off, man. We ain't got time for that, man. Hey. Grab your tickets, no, it's free. So supplies and go on the tree. Tell me what we do. Oh, we'll be here. Hey, man, we got to Cause if you don't get it, you won't be a part of COVID. Everybody get your ticket. Everybody get your ticket. Everybody get your ticket. Everybody. So yeah, man, what's the uh, cross on your forehead for? It's a ticket. Yo! 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 Oh my God! Yo! Oh my God! Yo! Oh my god, bro. Check it, bro. I got number two pencils, ink pens, black and blue. You know, that's how you use those. I got 32. I wonder if he knows that I know he ain't registered for Cold Fest. Shame. Did you get your ticket? Did you get your ticket? Oh my god. Why you get your ticket? Don't you know that they're free? They are real free. Just bring them school supplies. Did you get your ticket? Hey, OGB, cue the rain. No, oh I got why you get your ticket. Don't you know that they're free? They're so, so free. Just bring them school supplies. Ah, my name's Corey. Corey Goss. It's like a Coke Fest ticket. They're free. You know, my mama always said, life is like a box of Coke Fest tickets. You never know which one you're gonna get. Shirt there. Sell that at Cofest. Like another Cofest ticket. They're free. You already gave me a Cofest You already gave me a Cofest ticket. One, two, three. This ticket don't mess around because it's free, you see, and this I know for sure. But everyone really wants it because they see the tickets, now they gon' fall short. So don't forget your ticket because the thought of no raffles can right now. Thank y'all for school supplies and registering to come because it's so lit right now.